Hello, I'm Nathaniel Fox, and I'm a product specialist here at Banner Engineering in the Lighting Indication Group, and today we are going to run through the installation of a WB72 light fixture. So first off, make sure you inspect the light fixture for any damage once it comes out of the package. A few tools you may need for the job, hammer or screwdriver, or other tools for knocking out the knockout, some wire strippers, and then possibly pliers for tightening down uh, the conduit gland or other pieces that you have for entering the wires. So first you need to remove the cover to access the wires. So you'll see the indentations on the side here. Squeeze the cover, open it up. You'll see it's attached by these two safety cables so that when the fixture is mounted, the LED, uh, LED board and cover does not uh, fall off or pull the wires out. Then we will go ahead and knock out our conduit entrance. Once we have our conduit knockout removed, we have access to the fixture. We have our power wires uh, that go from the driver to the LED board. We have our power wires to accept the high voltage incoming, and we have our ground, all with WAGO connectors attached to them. Included with the fixture is also a cable gland used for installation, and four screws to attach the upper cover. We'll take the cable gland and open it up, feed our wires through it, and into the housing, and then securing our cable gland with the supplied nut. Then we will go ahead and attach all of our wires. Make sure the levers are lifted up on the supplied WAGO connectors. We'll install the ground, insert all the way, snap down into place. Then our power wire, and our neutral. Then we'll go ahead and connect our power wires from the driver to the LED board. Again with supplied WAGO connectors, black to black, red to red. The driver also comes with optional dimming wires that we're not hooking up in this case, also with supplied lever style WAGO connectors. Wiring is now complete, tighten down your cable gland. Make sure all the wires are tucked in so as not to be pinched when you attach the cover again. Use at least one of the four supplied screws to secure the upper cover. The technical literature is shipped with the product and also available online at BannerEngineering.com. It includes step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this installation as well as supplemental information like brackets and accessories. You can turn your power back on at the breaker box or power supply. And installation is now complete. Thank you very much for watching.